Welcome to the rising ninth grade high school course planning presentation. Through this presentation, the school counseling team will be sharing information about school counseling, scheduling, diploma requirements, required ninth grade courses, electives, and general information related to the high school years. This presentation is the first of many different opportunities to learn about the transition from middle to high school. The program of studies for the 2022-2023 school year is now available on the WJCC schools website for review. Beginning in January, middle school counselors will be working with all rising ninth graders on the course request process and will also be reviewing and updating students' academic and career plans. During the week of January 18th, High school counselors will be visiting middle schools to talk with eighth graders about high school registration and what to expect in ninth grade. In August of 2022, freshman orientation will be held at each high school and back to school night will be held in September of 2022. Specific dates for these events will be determined after the final approval of the 2022-2023 academic calendar. On the screen, you will see a sample copy of a student academic and career plan for WJCC students. This plan is developed in partnership with your middle school counselor and supports students in identifying future goals and academic pathways that can help students achieve those goals. This plan is reviewed and updated annually beginning in the seventh grade. School counseling services are available to all students and include classroom counseling lessons, individual counseling sessions, small group counseling, crisis response, individual student planning, collaboration, consultation, referrals to community resources as needed, and parent workshops on a variety of topics. Keep in mind support during this transition doesn't stop on the first day of school. The school counseling department is here throughout the ninth grade year and every year that follows until graduation to support students and families in the areas of academic achievement, social and emotional development, and college and career readiness and planning. In high school, students will take four blocks each school day that last approximately 90 minutes each. Each block is a different course for students, totaling eight courses overall. The schedule is organized into A days and B days, with A days being blocks one through four and B days being blocks five through eight. Ninth grade students will take all four core classes, which are English, Math, Science, and Social Studies, typically a Health and PE course, and three remaining electives, which could include options from World Language courses, Fine Arts courses, or Career and Technical Education courses. When entering high school, it is important to understand the requirements necessary for graduation. In this next section, we will share the details required of both the standard and advanced studies diplomas. This information is also available in detail within the program of studies if you would like to have a copy. We will begin with the standard diploma. To earn a standard diploma, students must have a total of 22 standard credits and five verified credits. A standard credit is a credit earned when passing a course, no matter the level of that course. A verified credit is earned when a student passes the course and the SOL attached to that course. The 22 credits required for a standard diploma are four credits of English, three credits of math, three credits of science, which must include courses from at least two different science disciplines. Available science disciplines include the earth sciences, biology, chemistry, or physics. Three credits of history or social science, which must include Virginia U.S. history, which is typically taken in the 11th grade, U.S. government, which is typically taken in the senior year, and one world history or geography course. Two credits of health and PE, specifically health and PE 1 and health and PE 2. Two credits of world language fine arts or CTE courses, which must include at least one credit of either a fine art or CTE course. One credit of economics and personal finance and four remaining electives of the student's choice. The verified credits required for a standard diploma are two in English, the read English reading SOL, 
and the English Writing SOL, one in Math, one in Science, and one in Social Studies. For the Math Verified Credit, all students are required to earn one Math Verified Credit while in high school. So, for those students who earned a verified credit through Algebra 1 or Geometry at the middle school level, they will still be required to earn a Math Verified Credit while in high school. Next, we will be discussing the Advanced Studies Diploma. To earn an Advanced Studies Diploma, students must have a total of 26 standard credits and 5 verified credits. The 26 credits required for an Advanced Studies Diploma are 4 credits of English, 4 credits of Math, 4 credits of Science, which must include courses from at least 3 different science disciplines, from Earth Sciences, Biology, Chemistry, or Physics, four credits of History and Social Science, which must include Virginia U.S. History, typically taken in the 11th grade, U.S. Government, which is typically taken in the senior year, and two credits in either World History or Geography. Two credits of Health and PE, specifically Health and PE 1 and Health and PE 2. Three credits of a world language. This requirement can be met by either completing three sequential years of one language or two credits each of two different languages. One credit of a fine art or CTE course, one credit of economics and personal finance, and three remaining electives of the student's choice. The verified credits required for an advanced diploma are the same as the standard diploma. Two in English, one in math, one in science, and one in social studies. As shared previously, for the math verified credit, all students are required to earn one math verified credit while in high school. So for those students who earn a verified credit through Algebra 1 or Geometry at the middle school level, they will still be required to earn a math verified credit while in high school. In addition to the credit hour requirements for each diploma, students are required to complete the following graduation requirements. All students must complete a virtual course. In WJCC, we structure the diploma requirement of EPF as a blended learning course, which does meet the virtual course requirement. All students must be trained in CPR, first aid, and the use of automated external defibrillators, or an AED. This training is provided to students in WJCC through the Health and PE 1 course, which is also a graduation requirement. Students must complete either an AP course, honors level course, dual enrollment course, a high quality work-based learning experience, or earn a CTE credential during their time in high school. Students must also demonstrate the five C's, which are critical thinking, creative thinking, communication, collaboration, and citizenship. Demonstration of these skills occurs throughout students' coursework throughout high school. Additionally, all students are required to earn a sequential elective. This requirement is met by successfully completing two sequential courses, which could be from any discipline, as long as the courses are not specifically required for graduation. For example, art foundations and drawing count as a sequential elective. Your school counselors are able to assist you in identifying specific courses that meet this requirement based on your interests. In high school, you will also start earning a grade point average, or GPA. All high school courses are assigned a grade point value, or what we call quality points. An A is equal to four points, B is three points, C, two points, and a D is equal to one point. A GPA is calculated by totaling the number of quality points earned and dividing that by the number of credits attempted. In WJCC, we do weight some of our courses by one full point, making an A equal to five quality points, a B four points, and a C three points. A D earned in any course that qualifies as weighted credit is not weighted and would still equal one quality point towards the GPA. For more details related to which courses are weighted and how to calculate a GPA, please see page five of the Program of Studies. 
it is important for students and families to understand that all high school credit courses count towards a student's GPA. Located on the WJCC website is the program of studies for next school year. All information for each course, including prerequisites, is available in the program of studies. Additionally, students and families can find details related to high school programming and graduation requirements within the program of studies. We encourage you to utilize this resource and all of the valuable information available within. Students will select a total of eight courses to take in the ninth grade, as well as alternate options. We will now move into discussing course options for the ninth grade year. In ninth grade, there are multiple options available within each core content area. Students and families are encouraged to speak with their child's current content teacher regarding these options and the best fit for you in achieving your goals. The English language art options are either English 9 or Honors English 9. In science, students can select from either Environmental Science, Earth Science or Honors Earth Science, or Biology or Honors Biology. For social studies, students can select from either World History 1, which covers history up until 1500, or World History 2, which discusses world history from 1500 to present day. Math courses are sequential and students will enroll in the next course within their math sequence. High school credit math courses begin with Algebra 1 and move through pathways after successful completion of the course. Typically, ninth grade students are either enrolled in Algebra 1, Geometry, or Algebra 2, all based on their current math course. A full chart of high school math sequencing is available on page 33 of the Program of Studies and is seen here on the screen for you today. If you have questions related to your students' math options, please speak with your student's current math teacher. As shared previously, Health and PE is a graduation requirement, specifically Health and PE 1 and Health and PE 2. Most ninth grade students will take Health and PE 1 and then take Health and PE 2 during the 10th grade year. World languages are available to take in ninth grade as well. If a student is working towards an advanced studies diploma, a world language is required for graduation. Students may select from Spanish, French, Latin, German, and American Sign Language. If you have previously started a language in middle school and would like to continue in that language, you would select level two of that language in your course requests. Fine arts options in the ninth grade are available in three areas, art, music, or theater. Students may also choose to take a career and technical education course or a CTE course, and those are available in the following categories, business and information technology, career connections, family and consumer sciences, health and medical sciences, marketing, technology, and computer and information sciences. Students will be provided with a complete list of available course options, and these can also be found within the WJCC Program of Studies. In WJCC, we also offer courses that are called Commonwealth Innovation Courses. These courses combine two or three courses across different disciplines that focus on project-based and or blended learning opportunities for each student. Some instruction will occur in a digital environment. Students will be grouped together and attend all courses as a class. While students earn three credits for these courses and learn three different courses, they only take up two blocks in their schedule. Available options for Commonwealth Innovation courses are identified on the screen and within the program of studies. When understanding the course request process, it is important to note that student input is instrumental in creating a school's master schedule each year. Starting in January, students will choose courses based on their academic, personal, and career goals. These requests inform WJCC to create a master schedule so students can take classes of interest to them and then hire staff based on student choice. Students then take their courses the following school year. It is important to thoroughly consider your course options throughout this process and make requests based on your interests and goals as changes to these requests are not guaranteed after the process has been completed. 
Now let's take a moment to discuss what to expect over the next few weeks and months. Students and families are encouraged to review the program of studies and begin to identify courses that align with your academic, personal, and career goals. Middle school counselors will work with students and families individually and in classes to review students' academic and career plans and coursework for the ninth grade year. High school counselors will visit middle school classes to provide lessons to current eighth graders on course selection for ninth grade and on what to expect in high school. The course request window in view will be open beginning January 18th through February 8th. Students and families are asked to review the requested courses through student and parent view and contact their current school counselor with any questions or requests for changes. Beginning February 9th, student and parent view will be switched to view only and no changes to selections will be able to be made within view. We hope that you've enjoyed the presentation for rising ninth grade course planning. If you have any questions, please submit them through the High School Curriculum Fair question portal provided on the WJCC Schools website and the Family Newsletter. You may also contact your school counselor for additional assistance. Thank you for your time.